Welcome in, everybody. We're back with Dragonlance. Uh, Ziggy will be joining us. Uh, he is running. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> Nerd Holla said, I'm in danger. Uh, can I get a shout out for Nerd Holla, please? Um, hello there. Hello there, shooting. Uh, we have everybody in the stream, it seems like. Welcome in, everybody. Uh, we, again, as I was saying, uh, the person who plays Ziggy is uh, going to be is running a little bit late. They're cutting close, coming home from work. So hopefully we'll be here with time we actually get into the game. Uh, we uh, canceled Monday night. Uh, a lot of people were out or didn't have a way to or somebody was sick and somebody was out in the jungles. So I let you guess who that was. So I ended up just calling the stream there. I wasn't feeling into it anyway myself. I'm coming off 24-hour duty yesterday because I'm in the Navy and I'm running on fumes. But I'm going to power through this. And there is Ziggy. Speak of the devil. And there he is. Barely. Uh, while, uh, while he is, joins in and leans up. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Uh, if you want to catch people like Nerd Hollow that is in the chat, uh, she will be in our YouTube exclusive one shot slash campaigns for the Black Order, which I was planning on starting this weekend, but then totally forgot I have a trip. I'm going out of town, so I'm not going to be here. So it's going to be next week, hopefully. Uh, we're finally finishing up some stuff. So that being said, I'll turn it over to our fellow streamers. Uh, we'll start out with Cleansing Rain. Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Cleansing Rain, playing Dashjin on this Dragonlance campaign. Uh, having a great time, hoping to make it out of this uh, precarious situation alive and well and a little bit richer than we came in here with. But I'm uh, pretty nervous that we might have to have new character sheets ready after tonight, so... All right, uh, I wasn't going to say that, but all right, go ahead. Uh, Bella, uh, Old Man Garris. Hey, everyone. Old Man Garris here uh, on YouTube and on Twitch as Old Man Garris. Real original, I know. Uh, we are streaming D&D, &D, uh, world creation, uh, actually, in a brand new setting. It is fifth edition that it's going to be based on for the system, but a little bit different than normal. All right, and uh, we also have Nihilish. Did you ever get your parts in for your audio? I have not, but I have decided I will still be streaming this next weekend. I'm just going to go back to um, playing Honkai um, on my phone at the moment. So it'll just be audio with me at the moment with my phone. You just don't get to see my pretty face. Very nice. Uh, with that being said, we do have pretty much a big upcoming battle for the scene so we'll go ahead and uh jump into the nice episode because we don't have a lot of time and i sure as hell don't know what the hell is gonna happen so you know stick in for a wild ride so let's grab your goblet sit back relax and enjoy the show Quiet melody that if I listen hard, I could hear the 
You can't turn your head. Welcome back. <laughs> Mayla, would you like to lead us in tonight's recap? I would. Um, can everyone hear me okay? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Awesome. All right. So, previously on Dragonlance, um, we were making a plan to infiltrate this camp to go find some sea elf prisoners. Um, so our original plan had Daz being a prisoner with me and Vera walking him down to the camp. But then I remembered that I have a bounty on my head. So we switched up the plan with me as the prisoner and Vera and Daz taking me into the camp while Ziggy ended up going with Belram and Kerry to sneak into the tower and take out the guards up there while in the camp. Um, so Vera and Daz led me across the bridge with an invisible Ziggy behind us while Belram and Kerry made their way across the mudfield. And I tried to make a big enough scene for the guards to open the gate, but I am but a small kinder. And they also call out, talked in draconic, which only I speak, but Daz and uh, Kiri uh, and Vera do not. Um, so after my failed attempts at trying to get them to open the gate, Daz and Vera are able to bluff their way into the camp with me, and I drag my camp, my feet as much as possible as we make our way to the corner of the camp that has the cages for the prisoners, while the other three are making their way, hopefully, to the tower. So even though Daz and Vera tried to make it so they are the ones who put me in a cage, I am taken from them and thrown into a cage while they aren't even allowed into the area with the prisoners. I meet my cellmates. I have two sea elves in the same cage with me named Elman and Viserin, and they tell me about their companion, Temeneth, who's in another cage alone, and a kinder named Kenna. And I also notice a giant creature in one of the other cages who looks like it would be great at burrowing. Um, Daz works out in my line of sight, but I notice that Vera is still hanging pretty close to the prisoner area. Um, shortly after telling my cellmates that there's a group of us here trying to rescue them, I see a guard close to the opening of the prisoner area noticing something in the direction of the tower. Now, I'm not sure if I can see what he sees, but I have a feeling that everything is about to get very real very fast. Alrighty. Give me a second. I'm adding the second camera for the audience to see what's happening on the back side of this tower. Figured it might be a nice little touch for everybody. I can get down to where I needed to have it. Oh, that'll do. All right. So the audience, if you are watching right now, I've added a second cam. This is the second cam that the players use. I use in Zoom for real time. Uh, it's the best thing I can do to help them out for for real time movement. And since this is a big map, I decided to go ahead and add it for you guys to watch too. As you can, you can see the whole map, and then you can see from what the players are seeing for their characters, like especially on this bat side of this tower, of all the stuff is happening. Currently, you're seeing right now is that Carrie had just went over to the balcony and is free falling. And at the end of last session, Dashin used his reaction to cast Featherfall, which he was just and barely just enough range for that. So that's where we were picking up. But as always, we're not officially in combat yet. Uh, the only person that kind of saw something happen, like fly over the edge, is now free flowing. Was the the guard? So, as always, we can go down through out of combat initiative. Uh, so for this week, we have Dashin first. So Dashin, uh, what are you doing in this moment? Well, once, um, once my visuals have confirmed that Carrie is, is safely floating, I'm trying to oh, really let me give it to you. As she jumps over, you use your magic ability that you describe as she was going like, <laughs> and starts now floating down just like a feather. And her eyes are closed, if I remember correctly. She's like, oh my God. <laughs> Actually, she closed her mouth. That's what it was. She closed her mouth. Both. So go ahead, Dash. I'm sorry. You're good. Um, I'm trying to take a quick notice around the camp if anybody has uh, has been alarmed or alerted by by such things. Uh, if they've noticed or are aside from those atop the tower, whom I assume <laughs> might be conversing among themselves. So the wall that is separating the cages from the tents. That's about how high the wall is. So you 
that you can see the guard kind of walking like you see his like chest head area start look up and see it and start and is starting to walk towards that way he remembers like what was that and then he starts walking okay well if um if the guards are possibly walking that way from where i am at um And you're still in uh, the catch area right up to you're also already concentrating on invisibility for Ziggy that's up at the tower. Correct. I don't know, guys. I'm so tempted to say I start playing a song, but <laughs> I don't know if that blows our cover more than it helps it. I mean, one of us has to kind of pull the band aid at some point, I think. What would yeah. Dustin do? Yeah, what would Dashin do? Because you also Fair remember enough. that that uh, there were more. They speak draconic, and you had to cast something to. Yeah, I did yeah. universal speech. So and, and that lasts an hour. You said right. Uh, I'd have to look again, but I, it, it only works to the initial targets. It doesn't work to new yeah, targets. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Um, okay. Well, given where I'm at, if it's the beginning of my turn, um. So you get an action, bonus action. I want to I, I peek movement. into the big tent. I want to peek into the chief's tent here. All right, you're looking. Try to do. All right. Uh, obviously, the curtains are closed. So give me a stealth check. And slide it. All right, just give me a slide of hand check. Let's just do that. Eleven. I mean, it's just curtains. This is more of like how big of an opening you make. And you're not used to it. So you make a pretty big opening. You almost stick your head in and you're looking in. Give me a perception check. 18. 18. Um, yeah. You see a uh, goblinoid inside going... <sighs> just like unnoxiously like breathing hard snoring and then you see uh this uh let me go there's actually something else in there i need to tell you you also see a desk uh like uh it's, it's kind of like a working desk and you also uh i guess i should say well you're looking in this hut is larger than the others in the camp, obviously. The, it is made of hides stretched across a wooden frame, bone spikes protruding from the ground around it. Do you see a desk that uh, is covered with would you, so, some sort of papers? Um, you also see an ornate chest. Um, let's see. It's like one of those, like, if you play Boulder's Gate 3 or whatever, it almost kind of looks like a very fancy chest. You could probably open up. Um, you see that, and you see, obviously, this goblinoid snoring. Death. That's the only living thing in there that I perceive? Uh, I was getting into that. Um, you also see two of the massive silver things you initially had looked down at. I think it was initially you saw them, the two mass. I'll just hold up. You see two of these big guys sleeping. Okay. Um, what would Ziggy do? I would like to, uh, I guess, use my bonus action if it can to use the hunting trap that I have taken and I would like to set it near the entrance of the tent okay uh, are you proficient with them I mean how hard can it be <laughs> all right give me just a general dexterity check and uh, if oh, basically all it is is like if you're proficient when you get to add your proficiency modifier to them and 
it should be over in your left, your proficiency scores. It would be like with your loot and all that good stuff. But I don't think you are, but I can double check. Do you have to have proficiency with a hunting trap? I think you can just use it. This th this is more of, <laughs> of a character. Okay. You, yeah, no. I would I would say maybe if he has proficiency in survival, can yeah. use that. Yeah. Do you have that? Um, I've got the plus four for survival. Is that little circle marked as? Yes, it is a whole. Yes, I do have. All right, so uh, I'll, I'll give you an option. You can either use your dexterity check or your survival check for this. It's up to you. Is it dexterity save or survival? No, it's just a general dexterity check, is which would be your plus on top. So I was pulling up your character sheet. So a general dexterity check will be a d20 plus three or your survival check which is a plus four. So your survival check is just slightly better than a dexterity check. Okay. Well, that's what we'll do then. I'll use the survival check and it yielded a nat 20 for 24. It really didn't matter. All this talk for no yeah. freaking reason. <laughs> My bad. So, uh, as you're saying, you can't really hide it because this is like hard rock um, that is like kind of risen, but you could easily set the trap what I need from you now is how quietly you're setting this trap. So give me a slide of hand check. With this advantage. It's happening in six seconds. Yeah. This is true. I may be doing a little extra, but, you know, we're not actually in combat. So this is more of an out of combat initiative. So I'm being a little bit lenient on it. But you can okay. do it with advantage because these guys are sleeping. So I rolled an 8 and then an 11. So it's an 11. That's a 2 and a 6. What's your total? To total is 11? Yeah. Okay. That's cut. 6. <clears throat> Check their stat block real quick. It might not be the greatest of all. Uh, actually, I'll, you know what? I'll give it to you because they are sleeping. Uh, I think he met your 11, but I'll give it to you. You're able to do it, and one of them goes kind of <clears throat> kind of shifted a little bit. One of the bigger ones. Other ones are just still not the fuck out. All right, we'll move on from there to who was next? Bellroom, you're on the ladder, climbing yes. up. No, I'm not. I'm waiting because I was told to. Oh yeah, wait you were told to wait until Are I got you the signal. Staying there? Okay. Yeah. So you're staying there? I'm, I'm not going. I was told I'm going to do what I was told. Got it. I, when I get her signal, I'll go. Uh, what are you thinking in this moment? How about this? Bella, tell me what you're thinking in this moment. Uh, I wish she had told me, is she going to open the door and tell me to come up there? Is she going to knock on the door? What is the signal for me to go up there? Maybe I should, hmm, I don't know what to do. I've got the adsy. Maybe I should just hold on to the adsy with one hand and just... Get ready, because she's probably going to have me jump out and surprise them and take them from the back, because that would make sense. She'll distract them. Yeah, and she's sneaky. She's really sneaky. So she could absolutely get in front of them, disarm them. Yeah, that's what she's going to do. I know she's going to do that. Then again, maybe she's just going to go and kill them all, because she can do that. They won't even know what hit. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you know what? I bet she doesn't even need me. Uh, here I am, just waiting. These are the thoughts that are going through Belrum's head. Just as rambling as they can be. All right. Very nice. Uh, Vera, you're up as the, the, the jailer has said, thought they see something started walking towards you. Yep. Uh, 
I was tying my shoe. I did a perception check to hear him um, say that. I'm going to look up, see, I, I assume, see a balloon kinder. I was just kind of rocking back and forth like a feather. Obviously, the jailer saw that and can't hide that. So I'm going to turn to him and uh, and be like, Divine Magic can do that? Is that is that Kinder making a spectacle right now with her magic? Oh, talking about you? Are you gesturing at Mela? I'm talking about I'm talking about Mela in in the cages. Like I thought you said there were no Kinder, and then suddenly there are Kinder everywhere. Give me a deception check. That was a little spoofy. I should give you yeah. disadvantage with that one, but, you know, I'm not going to do that. 13. <laughs> right, here we are. Uh, 13. Ooh. Ooh. All righty. Uh, I'll hold everything. Silent Bull just gave out five community gifts. Let's see. Oh my gosh. MCR Music 3 Splash 11 Bookworm uh, Summit Forgery and Jazza Hanza all received a gifted sub. Holy cow. Let's see. What's the rewards for that? That is a gift five is Magic item table. So let's see which one that one is. I haven't grabbed this book in forever. I don't remember which table it was. So what we're gonna, gonna do? Pop out of the bag of holding while I'm falling. <laughs> exactly. That's crazy. All right, we'll continue on and see if he uh, responds. If not, we'll take. Uh, we'll finish. Uh, what we'll do? We'll finish out the out of combat initiative. Um, the silent bullets is that's what it says. It's cooler spelling. I'm not good with that stuff, so I just read what I can see. So, Silent Bullets, D100, and you, you determine the magic item. Uh, Vera, uh, so, oh uh, yeah, he's inciting you, so I rolled the wrong one. So, let's see. Insight is a wisdom, right? Insight's wisdom? I think so, okay. yes. Double checking. Yeah, okay. Then, never mind. I was looking at the wrong stat. Got a 12. You got a 13. He's just like, huh? Whoa. And you're you're still speaking in, in common, right? I am. Alrighty. Alrighty. He looks back. He's like, huh? huh? He pulls out a dagger. And starts walking towards... Actually, does he have a dagger? What does he have? No, he pulls out his uh, serrated sword. No, that's not him either. I'm on the wrong one. Jesus! What do you got? He pulls out... <laughs> he pulls out a javelin off the wall and starts heading towards Mela. Well, if it's that, then. And he starts walking towards Mela. Uh, let's see, that's Vera. Uh, we're now at... God, he's... Carrie! As you're slowly rocking back and forth. I realize what's happened. Someone's cast a spell of saving on me. And... I will teleport down 30 feet with the teleportation thing I forgot about last week. <laughs> and teleport down to the ground as close as I can get to the corner of the tower closest to the tower's back door. Yep. Right here? And it's 30 foot teleportation. And that was my nice. bonus action. Uh, is that verbal and somatic? Uh, 
It's a thing from my thing. It's um, okay. uh, the cloak, Kaganesti Forest Shroud. Yeah. Um. I don't know if it's if it's if you can cast if it's acting like a Misty Step and you say you cast Misty Step, you go off the Misty Step spell. But if it's part of the cloak, don't worry about it. Yeah, it's just part of the cloak. It doesn't say anything about a spell. Okay. Yep, so that was Brona's action to do that. Uh, so basically, you're just thinking, get me out of here, and you let down. I'm there. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll run around and enter the back door into the tower. Quietly. <laughs> All right, give me a stealth check, or slide of hand check. Okay. Slide of hand? Slide of hand, because you're interacting with the door. 22. 22. Uh huh. Uh, Belrum. Yeah. What little moonlight that happens appears as you're sitting there thinking about it, you're waiting for the signal in your mind and your thoughts. You see a little bit of moonlight coming in the door as the door opens and shuts behind you. But you don't hear it open and shut, you just see the light come in. So the door underneath me just opened up? It just opened up for a split second. You saw a uh, light. So hold that thought until we get back to your turn. Unless you're going to use your reaction to do something. Um, how, how high up was I? I was like halfway you're up. About so half, about... You're about halfway up, so you're probably... See, that is about... You're probably about 20 feet high. Oh, well, uh, um, yeah, I'm jumping down to attack whatever just tried to uh come up behind us do you have dark vision yes i'm a dwarf so you turn and you see the uh the gray black and gray shadows of a small kinder and as you turn around to jump down to make a strike you see it's carry so do you continue through with your strike mm, so she's not sneaky mm -hmm. i'm and not then, sneaking at the moment and give me a stealth check as you're doing this quickly. Or actually, I'm trying to see if you would make noise with this. What role? Well, I know I have you? to be quiet because I haven't had the signal from up there, but I'm still okay. jumping down. So you're doing like a solid. Yeah, like a exactly. Okay, okay. Uh, my thing is, is how much noise you're going to be making when you jump down. Uh, I'm sure. Just roll. So here, here's What'd how you... it would go. Yeah. If I'm going to see that it's carry before I, because I'm, I'm coming down to swing Adzi down on the, you know, who I think is going to get yeah. us. If I see that it's her, I'm just going to try to tuck and roll and not hit her. So right, give that's me a probably what's going to make the noise. Yeah, okay. yeah. Give me a dexterity saving throw. And I'm just going to roll. Yep. Love it. Perception chats. That was a s Can I try to dodge out of the way? Uh, that doesn't Ziggy, meet my armor class. Ziggy, roll me a perception check. I'm rolling to see if they hear Bellroom do this. <clears throat> and they do. Uh, 22. 22. You, you hear... Uh, did you roll that with disadvantage? Who, me? Yeah. No, but I can roll again and we'll see if it's lower. Yeah. Uh, perception. Boom. Uh, well, the same. 22. <laughs> nice. Uh, <laughs> Ziggy, you hear something like something roll across the floor below you. And you adjust the scene, which is perfect because Ziggy, you are nets. So we just kind of roll right into you as Belwin rolls out of the way. Ziggy would come to you. You hear something that rolls skirted across the floor at the, almost at the exact same time, like a few seconds before you saw uh, Carrie jump over the side. So with that knowledge, of, you just saw Carrie jump over the side. You heard somebody roll around under the bottom. What is Ziggy doing? You're still invisible. You know that's still going. Can um, I just say... Um, 
So I used my bonus action to do the thing. I'm guessing action was to open the door? Yes. Okay. Inter um, interact with the object, yeah. Yeah. Would I be able to say to Bellroom hide? Just hide? I'll let you use your reaction for that if it, it okay. comes into play. Sorry uh, about that. I'm trying to keep everything kind of somewhat in real time. So, Ziggy, what are you doing? Um, I have a couple questions. Uh, so, like, if I initiate combat with these guys, they can just immediately yell out, alert the whole camp, right? <clears throat> what do you think? I'm not going to give you right. free answers. Obviously, um, well, obviously, if you're going to... Yeah. That was more Unless you kill them question. all three at that same time somehow right. and they don't have a mouth. Yeah. Um, did any of, uh, I mean, quick, for a quick thing, uh, do uh, I notice? In uh, I, I guess I, I did describe what they're doing after that. As she jumped yeah. over his side. He's like, what's my horn? Y'all see my horn? Blood bunny idiot. You probably left it in the tent. No, I literally just had it. I swear I did. You don't remember your ass from which way from Sunday half the time anyway. Can y'all shut the fuck up on in my own thoughts here? I want peace. That's kind of what you hear from him. <clears throat> um, then my next question is, like, if I tried to scoop up, like, carefully, invisibly scoop up the other two guys' horns, would that be, like, one action? Would that be two actions? Interrupt the job. At interact with object is an action. Okay. Um, depending, uh, depending on what you're trying to do with an object that's in your hand, will determine if I give you bonus action or not on it. Um, I'm gonna. <clears throat> I heard what was going on. No, actually, I, correction. You didn't grab the horn, did you, Carrie? No, you went to go grab it, and he grabbed it from you. No, I think I did grab it. Did you grab it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you sure did grab it. Yeah. So I am so right. All right. I, I, I yeah. had a momentary mince remembering as usual. My brain is mush, so continue. I'm sorry. Know the feeling. All right. I feel like the plan might be starting to go awry. I want to try to prevent that. So I'm going to invisibly, quietly try to sneak back down the ladder and see if I can interact with my team and we can come up with a good strategy here. Uh, you don't know who's down below. I'm, I'm making an educated guess. And I am going to try to sneak and be invisible. Like, I'm being, I, you know, I'm being careful. But give what me, I'm hoping uh, is that I'm going to lay eyes check. on my team. Uh, I'm hoping we can lay eyes on the team and uh, kind of come up with a what our net. I don't want to. Remember, just... they can't see you. So right. you still saw Carrie go by just a minute ago. Well, I can like whisper at them and stuff. Like we could sit right. in this in the in the in the shadows and whisper at each other if necessary. Uh, I just feel like if I initiated like a try to like yeah, yeah. just uh, give me stealth do a sneak uh, attack a, or something. I give me stealth check to see if uh, you it would can make go it down to make it. Down the All line, right. we're make, making a lot of cool. noise. Bear in mind, I still got the pass without trace. Yep. <laughs> so I did 16. All right. And invisible, nice. if that does anything. Yeah, you roll with advantage. Did you not roll with advantage? I did not roll with advantage. <laughs> all right, let me try that again. Let's see if I. Whoops. Well, first of all, that's wisdom. Ugh. Let me. I, ugh. Okay. Let me try this again. What are we even doing? Stealth. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Stealth check. All right. I'm going to roll stealth again. I did a slightly better. I got 11 plus 10 for 21. So the highest one I got off the three guards rolling with a disadvantage was an 18. So you're able to successfully go down the ladder without making any, really any kind of noise. Okay. Um, we'll move on to Mela. Mela, you see the um, jailer grab a javelin off that's leaning against the wall having it in hand and starts walking toward you in a threatening manner saying like ah right we'll put a stop to this shit right now and he starts walking towards you with a javelin what do you do 
I guess I'll turn to the two elves. Be like, um, does this normally does this normally happen? Uh, I, I, let's see. What kind of sense did I give them? Uh, they seem to think you've done something. I don't. This does not normally happen. We stay here quiet and do what we're told. That's why hell we keep our heads. So what did you do? I don't do anything. I... You better settle with him. This is this isn't. Well, okay. Uh, I don't think there's anything else that I can do. Um, you, you do speak draconic. I do. Um. I guess I'll just. Pull. The cage is big enough, and you're small enough. You can move to the back of the cage if you're trying to avoid it, or if you want to interact with them. It's up to you. What do you want to do? Um. I'll, I will call out in Draconic, I guess, um, and just ask: uh, Does does there seem to be a problem? But I'll stay close to like the middle of the cage, not close to the door, but also not the very back yet, either. So you can kind of stay, like, kind of in the middle of the cage? Yeah. Uh, the, the other kindergarten, and speaking to you in Katronic, said you're casting a spell, so I need to stop it. I'm not casting anything, I promise. I'll reply back in Draconic, with my hands up. Uh, further question is how you speak draconic as a kinder. I, uh, um... Uh, uh, since you technically are not casting anything, uh, just... push your passive? Oh. I'm just going to roll insight, see if he believes you. Um, passive insight? No, no, no. For you, you're not lying, but he's still going to roll insight, see if he can believe okay. you. Persuasion, uh, maybe? Yeah, just, yeah, persuasion. There you go. There you go. Thank you. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> My mind is completely mush. 18. Yeah, this is not him. Uh, 18. No pluses. So, yeah. Huh. And he looks back and sees nothing there. And looks down at you. fuck is going on? I, I need sleep. I, I've been up too long. He starts walking off. I he, relax. He rolled, a, he rolled a natural seven. Okay. I just relax a little bit um, and see if I can... Am I, is my cage close to the other cage with the other kinder? No. The kinder is in its own cage. It's one of the small ones on the very end over there. Okay. Um, what about the other sea elf? That's in a cage by himself. That one's the one next to you, the smaller cage. Oh, yeah. Okay. If you're looking on the stream, uh, you got the two big cages, mm -hmm. and you got the smaller one. That's the one with the uh, sea elf, and then the one on the very farther away from the bigger cages. That's the one that has the the kinder in it, which is sound asleep at this point. Okay, I'll tell one of the other elves. Um, Try and let your friend know that um, we're going to try and break all of you out um, in an elvish. Um, okay. And that'll be my turn. Okay. All right. So that was the end of the combat initiative. So, uh, uh, Silent Bullets has not put the command in chat. So we'll go with Weasel's roll, which was a 74. Uh, Carrie, as you're like, you're saying. Hide. Give me a dexterity saving throw. I'm good at Wish those. You should be good at those. That's a natural 20. I'm real good at those. Thank you because 27. the special ability of Rataru, only people holding Rataru can hear him, so thankfully that's in your favor. Rataru! As this. Uh. Where was it? Uh. This. Bottle of. Um, even in this dark, it kind of glows a little bit of redness. Like, it looks like some kind of elixir of some sort. 
Thanks. Uh, put it back in my <laughs> You're gonna figure that one out later. Later, yes. Not right now. <laughs> um. So we're back at the top of the round. Ashen, you just set your trap. There's don't seem to be really any major commotion right now. As um, I've seen the guard exit and then return when he talked to Vera, assuming I have a little bit of freedom in my actions. I mean, you, uh, what's your passive perception? It's pretty high, right? I think it's like it. It's pretty high. 14, 14. Uh, I would say you probably didn't make out his apt words, but you heard a conversation between Vera and this guard, not, not the zapped words. And you did see the guard go back inside and, or back in the other side of the gate. And uh, like it's, it's inside the wall, Jesus. And like I said, the wall is not full height so you can now at this point see the guard turning around and placing the spear and starting to walk out again like putting the spear up i'm looking for this ability i was just looking at but i'm not seeing it up there it is <coughs> well i don't want to do that Never mind. okay um i am going to try to enter the tent uh, I'm, gonna, uh, I'm interested in the contents of the desk and the safe but I assume the safe will need a lock which I'm not even going to attempt but the safe? I, or I would also I, the, I don't mean the safe I mean the ornate chest but okay. I'm, gonna, I'm, not, I'm not going for that I'm going for the desk we said there was a working desk in there mm -hmm. I'm trying to get some details um, maybe jailer keys but I assume the jailer keys are on the jailer at this moment but for okay. now all right, uh, make a perception check. And you do have dark vision, correct? Because you are an yes. elf. So, okay. Just make, give me a general perception check. There is a little bit of like a small like candle starting to fume out at this point near the desk. So it gives you somewhat of a light to help. Uh, it's a 14. 14. As you're uh, looking at the desk, walking closer, you can see uh, that desk is covering me in dragon dragon army reports um are you searching the desk uh, yes and i would like to take a handful of those reports okay um give me a stealth check and we'll use this for the whole time you're doing this at this at the thing because you're now open. Because you're searching this, and now you open up drawers and stuff. So, twenty-six. I got it. I'm rolling. They're terrible. Yeah, five, five, and four. So, it might be annoying by the snoring by this freaking goblinoid. <laughs> All right, as searching the contents of the desk, you find. Letters from a commander named Bethelon. I'll type it to you in Zoom so you can write it down. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Probably butchering the name the hell out of it. So I like making my own adventures where I can know I can pronounce the damn name. So I sent it to you in Zoom direct. Uh, you see a lot of letters from uh, a commander by this name uh, talking about excavating a sunward fortress. Uh, those what the letters are basically talking about. And then as you're looking through the desk, um, you find two potions and you recognize the potions. It's just a little bit bigger than what you're used to. You find two potions of greater healing. And then you find a... <clears throat> you find a pouch, like a coin pouch. Um, has coins in it. 
I'm not going to tell you the exact amount because it means you have to sit there and count it. And I don't think you will do that right at the moment. So you can go and pocket the uh, uh, coins if you want it. Okay. Um, at this, I'm going to take a look at Zarok. Um, just to get some more of his key attributes, key details again, if he's got any visible scarring, proximate height, so on and so forth, and uh, exit the tent. Okay. Um, they don't give him any really description in here. Uh, uh, just give me... Bastion knows what he looks like. Yeah. Uh, you've seen these before. They're what they call hobgoblins. Um, uh, he does. Uh, he is since he is in bed. He does not have his armor on, but you see his armor that's hanging up. It's half plate. You've seen half plate before. Um, he has a, he has like a dark reddish skin in color, and he with. If you want to get a lot more features on it, you actually have to go and really look at him and his way he's laying. It's just kind of weird looking. So, uh, but you gather if you want to get a lot more features, you run the risk of waking him up. Uh, then I will, I will, I will move to exit the tent. Careful not to step on my trap, hunting trap. So I said when you start moving uh, to exit. So we'll say for simplest purpose, you're still in the tent. Uh, we'll move on to Belrum as you just dived out of the way from decapitating uh, Carrie. What do you? How did you? Wow, that is great. So they're all dead upstairs? No, I what, fucked what? up. What? So. What do we do? Wait, they're alive? Did you get the horns? Did you get turned off the alarm? I got one. There's still two horns. <sighs> I'll Okay. All right. I'll 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 just do it. Stay here and, and make sure nobody comes it, comes up behind us. Be loud. Wait. I was thinking about this. I was thinking about this. I'll go up the ladder first. I'll forget about the horns because that fucked up, so I'll forget about that. I'll cut one's throat. You wait five seconds on the ladder below and then come up behind me. Hopefully by then I can slit another one's throat and you quietly slit the last one's throat. Okay, hey guys. <laughs> so yeah, so there's no immediate, we'll do this. So this, since there's no immediate combat, everybody says like in the groups can have a chance to talk once a month. So it's just uh, Bellroom and Kiri so you can have a few seconds to talk and I'll move on to another group, see what they're yeah. doing. I'm just going to be like, hey, guys, can you hear me? What's going on? I carry. What happened? Ziggy, you're here. Um, you, How long were you? You can't see him. Did but... you see that? I w yeah, I was up upstairs. You ran past me and then jumped, nimbly jumped off the wall. I assume yeah. you had some plan. No. Uh, but then I heard the commotion. <laughs> I heard you guys down here and I, I snuck back down to figure out what was going on. I don't want to. I don't want to alert them up there without, you know, having some sort of plan. I wonder, can we, there's three of them. There's three of us. Can we like yeah, no. this sneak is great. up there and all take them? Yeah, this is great. You sneak up first because you're invisible and line up behind one. I'll sneak up after you and cut one's throat. When I do, you take that signal to cut one's throat. And then Bellroom's going to come up after us and cut their throat. It's so almost yeah. simultaneous. That sounds great. Do we have a, uh, I mean, uh, do can I take a moment and summon uh, Stardust to help us? I don't know how that Is works. Is it loud? I don't think so. It's not like a... <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure I just go and uh, Stardust appears uh, next to me. There might be some light crackling of electrical energy. It is an action, but... so your invisibility fails. That counts as an action? I thought it had to be like a combat. or like No, a, it's an like action. Any action. action. All right, we'll, we'll we'll not worry about Starburst, Stardust right now until we get the uh... Starburst. Yeah, I I we roll back time. <laughs> uh, T Cat is giving all the D sits out, so T Cat is giving Dorma D sits, 
Uh, Vera gets a D6. Melee gets a D6. Well, I'll try not to take that personally. <laughs> oh, I don't know how many points she has. It is 3,000 fewer points. She does stalk and lurk in my painting streams and never say anything, so I don't know. So I want to make sure uh, Siggy's voice just came out of nowhere and I don't mm -hmm. see him. Is, is that correct? Yeah, you know he went invisible. Uh, like we were no, all together I, I don't before. know that. Yeah. We split well, up. we had we had Deschen. Yeah, I was I turned invisible before we before yeah, you we saw Dash and turn him invisible for y'all split up and went on your own ways. Yeah, I actually and I did a, like a fancy whatever you know energy of making us more stealthy as well. So you've got magic all over you. Doesn't show anything, so I don't know that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well. Okay. Carrie well, is conversing with the then. invisible voice, sir. My my pass without tra trace gives everybody uh, like glowing green elf boots, the one with the little like curlies at the at Hopefully the end. Not too glowing. Yeah. Well, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's a dim it's a dim glow. Just running through camp. What is that? Yeah, that <laughs> wouldn't be a good thing if they were glowing at all at nighttime. So the plan okay. is we're all we're all going to sneak up there. On our turns, get behind or the guard I can just and go try to jump kill everything. Well, that's going to be noisy. We sneak. We're, we're trying. It's to going to be here. one. It's a ladder, one at a time. How are three people going to get up there? Well, I can get a up human, there first. a dwarf, and a kender. I feel like there's a joke in here somewhere. Definitely, I I, I feel maybe. Uh, oh, we should be whispering. Uh, I can go up there first. I'm invisible. Then. Carrie comes up because she's the stealthiest thing ever. And then you trundle up the stairs last. And if you fail your stealth roll, uh, we'll just start battling. Quietly. Quietly. But basically, you'll be right up after us. So we'll still, get our sneaks you're... in first. And then exactly. if there's one left, you can sneak him. You're still leading the, the attack. We're just up there first and getting into position, and then you're going to lead the attack. Yeah. Sound good? Sure. Okay. All right. And break. Let's do it. Boom. Uh, on my turn, I'll sneak back up, I guess. Same. Although Bell removes first, so uh, <laughs> you can do what you want. Well, he'll have to stare at us. <laughs> Is Jugen like doing something? I think you're. I think you're. Muted. I was no. muted the whole time. All right. <laughs> Oops. Uh, it looked like you were in the middle of something big. Too. Yeah, I mean, I muted myself because my keyboard's loud, and I don't know when they clip through the freaking stream, and I forgot. All right, so. Uh, as I was saying, I'll move on to the next person is not part of that little group that has a higher uh, out of combat initiative, which is Vera. So Vera, what are you doing in this moment? After all of that, you've seen transpire. Oh, I'll say you'll be clips. close. To, uh, actually, no, you wouldn't understand because they were talking in Draconic. You no. see the jail. Yeah, you see the jailer walking back and placing the the javelin and starting walking back to a tent. So I'll go ahead and start moving him. So what are you doing, Vera? Firstly, I'm wondering, what the hell is my team doing? Um, Then I would like to approach the the jailer like uh dude you said it was wine where's the wine at i'm sleepy can i why can't i just go to sleep i'm seeing shit i don't know fucking wine's by the fucking fire i'm going to sleep he's fed up with himself because he thinks Aww. he's seeing shit so it's been a long day 
I will stay closest to him while he's walking and acting like I'm going toward the uh, okay. where he just indicated, but I will be staying close to him in the meantime. Okay. <clears throat> Is anyone else watching him at the moment? Or are they all paying attention to the prisoners? There's only one kind of watching him where he's when he's leaving. He's just kind of watching it. And it's like the general... He's not... So, I come from very security background. So, like, we call a non-Pacific alert. So, we're not... That's, a, that's what his general... So, he's looking out in the area. He's not focusing on one thing. That makes sense? Yeah. So yeah, you're in, you're in range of him be able to see something if you do something, but he's not like looking. They're, right they're not you. pinpoint focused only yeah, on that exactly. at the moment. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> That's fine. I'm just going to make a note of that and continue staying okay. close to him while I'm headed toward there. I'm still waiting on a signal. I assume the uh, loading balloon wasn't the uh, signal. Balloon? You just saw you saw. A carry floating down you didn't see a balloon <laughs> at all it's a it's a it's a kinder balloon <laughs> oh my gosh all right uh all right uh shit the user's gonna follow him as he heads to a tent Yes, I would like to hold my action. If something does happen with the tower, which is what I'm supposed to be waiting for something to happen, I would like to try and steal the keys off of this guy. All right, so you'll hold an action as you're walking. Uh, first off, make a perception check to see if you can even see the keys. Eighteen. Uh, all right. Um, as he's walking the inside of the coat that he has over, every once in a while it flaps open, and you can see like a ring of keys. So now you know you kind of it's going to be a little bit higher DC, but you can. Uh... DC, what's that? Whatever you you, you kind of see it flapping over the keys hanging inside of his coat. All right, uh, we now come to. Oh no, that was you guys. We we'll come to uh, dashing. Oh wait, did we already, we already did dash in, didn't we? Uh, Mela, are you doing anything specific? You're just sitting there. Um, where where did the sea off? Uh, was was he able to communicate with the other guy in the other cage? High or low? Actually, let's do that. We ain't done one of those. High or low? Hi. You look over and he's. You can visually see without being causing too much attention. Psst, psst, psst. The other sea elf is in the middle of a trance. Mm. Okay. Because you you seen Dash and do it, and you seen uh, Laura when do it. In order to go into like their deep trance, mm. so that's the, uh, what the other elf is doing. He's trying to get, but it's not really working out too well. All right. Um, yeah, no, I'll just keep an eye on uh, the other guard. I guess that's in the. There's, there's three other there's three guards. guards. I'll keep an eye on them, um, and just wait. You got it. Alrighty. And then we come to Dashin. Uh Give me a stealth check to exit the tent if you're still planning on exiting the tent. Yes, but before I exit the tent, 
Um, I would like to, utilizing my disguise kit, change my disguise. Is that verbal or somatic? Uh, huh? It's an item in my backpack. Oh, it's an item. Yeah, the disguise yeah. kit. Yep. Disguise kit. Oh, you, I thought. You, oh, so you changing your disguise before you walk out? Correct. I think it takes ten minutes to use, though. Pretty sure it does. Mm. I thought you're. I thought you were using your spell. Uh, I may have to if it takes ten minutes. I just didn't see where it took ten minutes. T Cat gifted a tier one self to Rusty. Thank you, T Cat. Uh, Carrie, you here? Badaroo! Boop boop. Yeah, give me another dexterity saving throw. Twenty-five. Yeah, he's so good at this. Popped up. He's, he's given you these before. A greater potion of healing. Pops out. Oh, thank you. Uh, you can have it back. Okay. Back in the back of <clears throat> <laughs> to cover it being any um right a room. any any forms of technicalities, I will just cast minor illusion on myself. Um. Okay. To uh. As best as I can tell from this distance, realizing it won't be perfect, of Zerok, the leader who's sleeping, and then I would like to exit the tent. Uh, let's see. You said minor illusion. Let's look at it real quick. It is somatic and material, but you guys your arcane focus, which is your thing. Create an image of an object within range, duration, and region. Also, that's action. That's what that's. Create an image of an object such as a chair, little prince, small crest, create sound, light, smell, singer effect, physical interaction with the object. So you're trying to use minor illusion as a disguise spell. And um, I kind of allowed it to the first time coming in as more of, you know, as a fun tool. Yeah, I see. I see. I misunderstood yeah. its use yeah. then. My fault. Yeah. yeah. So you can make minor illusions of objects. So what you were trying to do is a spell called the Sky Self. I think you took it or not. I do not have it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, bards can prepare spells, right? Yeah. So every morning at dawn, you can change your spell preparation if you like. So just remember that at dawn, you can change what you want during the day. So, yeah. Oh, TK okay. says no. You cannot. Let me see. Does it say known spells? Yeah, you're correct. It does not say. Yeah. You cannot prepare spells, so you learn spells kind of like a sorcerer. Never mind. Thank you, TK. I don't ever play a bard, so I don't really have them that much. So what would you do? What would you like to do? Well, in that case, um, I guess yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna exit the tent first, looking out to see if anybody's watching, and then making an attempt to exit. Uh, as you look out the tent, you do see the jailer walking with uh, Vera. He can't really hide it. Uh, maybe you could. I don't know. Depends on how she's trying to look at these coat, but. You know, Kinders like to steal shit all the time. <laughs> so, Dash, and you see them walking, and Kira's getting, is hovering really close to the jailer as he's kind of just like slumped and starting to walk towards his tent. So, you want to just step outside? Mm -hmm. Out of the uh, yeah, you know, captain's it, it, tent that you're probably not allowed in right in front of this guard. Okay, if he's going to see, if I have any sort of inclination that he would see me doing this, no matter how stealthy it was then I will remain another turn inside the tent until he passes. Got it. Uh, so we'll come back to our little group in the tower. What are y'all doing? Climbing up the ladder. All right, he's climbing uh, first. Uh, Ziggy yeah. first. I was going to invisibly climb up the ladder and take a position behind uh, guard one. And I stealthily behind guard I guess I wouldn't know where you are, Ziggy. Yeah, you what? You um, didn't have this discussion, did you? 
because I would automatically go for guard one. All right. Um, he's closest. I, uh, maybe uh, I stop and look back down, and in the silentest of whispers, indicate that I'm going to go to that guard and that she should go to the other one. Or like while you on could... the ladder. While we're or, on the ladder. Uh, think so. Think about it. You're invisible. And she's choo- I don't want to give. I don't want to give you too many hits. But uh, okay, I got this. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go up there. You sneak behind someone. I'll sneak behind the one you don't sneak behind. There it is. So she's going to instinctively try to go towards one. You're going to go to which one? Uh, the other one. There's three. There's three. <laughs> yeah. Uh, take your pick of the of the other. Oh, one. you tell me. All right. Uh, the 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 most top of the triangle one. Number two? Three. Sure. <laughs> I can't actually see the numbers of them. All right. And Belrum, you're coming. Oh, uh, should give me a stealth check there, Carrie? Yep. The advantage, because I'm a thing. Oh, fuck. Uh, we still got pass, uh, pass without a trace, right? Yes. 23. <laughs> Okay. Belrum, you come up. Well, no, I was told to count to five and then come up. So I assume it's it's a trap door goes up and down or right. Because it's a ladder we're climbing. No, there's no trap door. It's just a ladder. It comes out. Yeah, it's an opening. There's no trap door. Otherwise, I'll be having a lot more rolls for the trap door. (laughs) (laughs) That would be so annoying. All right. (laughs) So I'm going to wait at the bottom. Until, yeah, until, um, you wait at the top of the ladder. It I'm is a, to, well, I won't it is a 40 Ziggy. foot ladder. Yeah, I, I know, but I, I need a human and a kender to go. And then I was told, wait five seconds and then go. Yeah, like we're up seconds. there and then he's going to be at the ladder and then he's just going to spring out. Yep. So after Harry disappears, Five seconds, and then I start the climb to come to just get out there, take the weapon out of my mouth because I am using two hands to climb up there, help out to drop it, and uh, attack the first one that I see. Okay. And y'all wait, and you guys are holding your actions for Belrum to do it. So well, no, we, I would be attacking. Yeah, because she's got to do the. Uh, I think the because we the take initial... out these two first, and then Bellroom comes up and gets the last one. Well, the the All idea right, was we're kind go. of doing it in the, on in, on the same round. She's doing a sneak attack. I'm doing an attack, well, I, and Bar- Bellroom is doing an attack. I, I get what y'all putting down. So let me go ahead and get you some initiative rolls because this will start combat. I want to. Hey. Would this not be surprise? It would be. But I also want to be prepared in case you do not kill them. Okay. Made sense? Yep. Yeah. And that way I can already have initiative for everybody else, and then we just can use the same initiative roll when we go back in. So. Yeah. I would imagine we have, unless Bellroom fails a stealth check, we would have a round of, of surprise attacks. I would hope. I mean, surprise oh, I'm attacks. sorry. Did, did you tell me to be sneaky and stealthy going up? I mean, we have um, been the whole time. I mean, we whispered it. I would say the whispering in- indicates that's the direction. Hmm. All right. All right. Let's see. Let's you really do give him a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, bro, well no, roll. that's simplifying it. Simpl- with things that are oh, whispered, yeah, are simple. done stealthily. That's, that's the whispering the- is. You're right. It's it's yeah. fine. Well, it's everybody. Fine. I want everybody to roll initiative, like everybody, not just these three. Uh, bu- 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 What 16 plus 4. Kayla oh, gives me a D6. Thank you, Kayla, so much. Can I get a shout out for Kayla, please? And remember, I still do. I think you all may have thought I forgot. I still have the hurt them hard from yield draft. So the first attack, whoever gets it, is going to be crit damage. 
Mela, you got a nine. Please stand by while I take your call for these initiatives to plug on stream. Uh, let's see, Dash in, you got a, is that, that's not a natural 20. Okay, cool. Um, see, you got a five. Oh, well, you know, your five was there before. Oh, guess what? You got a natural one. I'm going to allow you have your one attack, and then you'd be surprised from if you don't kill him. How about that? Does that work? Is that cool? Right, I was sure cool. that was going to work. <laughs> 23 for Carrie. Mm -hmm. Best laid plans. All right. All right, so we got 23 for Carrie. Zig, you got a 5. Dashing at a 20. Mela, you got a 9. Uh, Vera, you got an 18, and Bellroom, you got a 12. All right, that's everybody. Sweet. I left the basic. All righty. All right, so I need y'all to give me your attacks. Okay, because of my assassinate feature, yep, I get yep. advantage on this yep. roll. You sure do. That's a 26 to hit. And because it's surprise, I also get crit. Yep. So that's... Oh, hold on. Five. I see 15 damage. Yeah, that's with the plus four, though, so take that off, because that's not doubled. No, you don't plus the... F the plus four is not doubled. It's the yeah. double of the dice. Y okay, so right two dice for the thing yep did you yep, yep, did yep. you right click it for quick damage? i did yep so yep, it's so done it's, that automatically so it's 50 50 yep so you got 15 damage plus there you, uh, oh yeah, 30 you guys. uh 43 uh, yeah well he was about to be alive i was like it's about to be happy because you only did 15 how would you like to brutally murder this person standing watch <laughs> my go to so would be to slit, like... his, slit his throat but I'm three feet tall so I want to jump on his shoulders and stab right in the neck or something I don't know yeah just kidding if I can I will jump up onto his shoulders and slit his throat very nice uh, let's see for how you rest your people do in this uh, Ziggy, what are you doing? Uh, I am in the best mimicry of the beautiful sneak, uh, our, our beautiful sneak attack champion. In the best uh, mimicry of that kind of behavior, I think I'm just simply going to whack him with a rapier twice. Whack him? Um, That's not how rapier rapier works. Just poke him. Stick him with the pointy end. Yeah. Uh, poke him with rapier a couple of times. Um, I don't. I think I'm gonna skip the hunter's mark for now, just in case we might still need this pass without trace. Uh, and yeah, that's. I think just a couple quick stabs, and we'll see how that goes. You don't concentrate on pass without trace, do you? I believe it is a. I, I could be do. wrong. No, I think I believe it is a concentrate. I know the hunter's mark is a concentrate, and yes, pass so without trace is also a concentrate. So I asked that last time, you all know, said no. So that's what's going to be on. I don't remember that, but okay. No, I don't. Rape your attack. Mm. 13. 13. Oh my God. You roll that advantage? Oh, I did not Aussie roll that advantage. advantage. Okay, sorry. Uh, man. I'm yeah, the advantage roll would give you advantage anyway. Oh, come on. All right. Well, okay. So I got a twenty-one on the second 20. roll. Yeah, twenty-one hits. All right. Ah, uh, all right. I'm going to use my piercer stat to re-roll that damage. All right. Uh, Ten points of piercing damage on the first attack. Got it. Uh, second attack is also with advantage. Uh, yes, because because it's it's attack action, so you can do your action advantage. So your second attack would still be advantage. 
to get two attacks, uh, right? You get two attacks for you. Yeah, two attacks is one action. Yeah. Yep. Well, I can't seem to roll with adv uh, advantage. So let's see. That was a fifteen. Let's see what my. So you right click it and hit advantage. I thought that too is just giving me the like save image as stuff. It's not like giving me. No, you anyway. right click the button. Oh right. Uh, fifteen. Oh, well, all right. So the how much was the first damage? Ten. The first one was less than fifteen. Yeah. Yeah, ten. So all right. <laughs> as he pull it out, <laughs> blood starts spraying out. He turns real quickly as you try to lunge in. It cleans right off his shield that he ha or does he have a shield? I think he has a shield. Yeah, he does. Uh, it, it has. He turns around with his shield and it cleans right off the shield as he gets it up in time. What the hell? <laughs> uh, but since it's all happening, Belrum, you can make your attack. Give me a stealth check. If you're trying to do it stealthily. Are you not trying to do it stealthily? I'm climbing up there as fast as I can. Okay. I mean, I don't have armor, so I don't... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, just give me a... I'll give it to you. It's there's, fine. A, there's a stealth. It's 14. Yeah, give me a, with advantage. Give you a what? Uh, attack with attack. advantage. Roger that. That'll be a 31, not 20. Woohoo! Roll that beautiful beam footage. Yeah, somebody's somebody's gone. Yeah, 24 points of damage. Yeah, 22. Good job. Uh, how would you like to describe this kill? Um, head, time to fly. Just swinging that right towards the neck, and that head's going to go... Uh, be detached and fly in you pick a direction. Then reach out and catch it by the hair. Uh, roll me a d4. Four. <laughs> you, can still you can't stay make this there. stuff up. You cannot make this stuff up. That's I'll either say really good or really bad. It's really bad. Oh boy. <laughs> I'll, I'll use this, um, I don't think you can see, uh, this, uh, it's supposed to be for, uh, floating, the floating light what, can trip, whatever. Uh, the head starts flying this way. On the other side. We'll see if that alerts the people at the gates. Uh, you do have the great weapon mastery, right? I do. Is that what you use to kill this guy? Oh, yeah. Every attack is. Okay. Oh, that's... Wait, is there another one still alive? Picture oh, yeah. Ziggy's, yep. Oh. Actually, he will use his reaction to reach down, pull up the horn, he is now starting to blow the horn. That's burr, nice. burr, 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 burr. Uh, still have advantage because, well, no, there's no surprise. So this is a normal attack, right? Let's say it's still happening all at the same time. He's using reaction to clean up. And, and I will say the horn is getting to the mouth. He's in a process of getting ready to blow on it. And as you can do your next attack, it would not be an advantage because he knows you're mm -hmm. there. Yeah, and that's still a 27 to hit. 27 hits. Uh, Ziggy's no longer invisible. Uh, and I will say at this point, Dash, and you can feel the concentration of the spell you're concentrating on is now no longer active. That's your, your signal. So that's uh, 16 points of damage. Um... He has 12 left. So how would you like to do this, Bellarm? Or you want me you to know. flavor it? You want me to flavor it? You, no, it's the exact same thing. I'm swinging an Adzi, man. Would you like so, that D4 now? So he does have the horn to his mouth. So as you're swinging towards that, your your uh, hammer, your adzi 
clips the horn, the horn goes into the mouth, out the back of the head. Half the head pops off, flying in the air. Give me another D4. <laughs> Mayless face, he's like, Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a one. The complete opposite, I mean. Yep. We're either so, going to roll crits or we're going to roll failures. I, I mean, it's <laughs> Belrim. What do you guys want, okay? <laughs> so I'll grab another dancing light uh, miniature. that side you have some brain meta flying out there is okay all righty so now we, we just have to see if now the other head alerts them all right uh now we come to initiative order carry well, they're all dead, so unless I can sprint over and grab the head before it can fall out of reach. The one that might alert the guards. Well, don't forget he blew the horn. Well, he didn't quite get to it, did he? He was, like, in the process. He was already making noise. He was like... He was, <gasps> well, yeah, he was making noise, but... There's still signals, like I described last night. They give different signals for the horn. So he's... The, he has started the horn was blown or no? He started blowing the horn, but to get okay. the appropriate signal out, probably gathered that he probably didn't get the whole signal out for the, the tone. <laughs> that he yeah, pretty much. So, Carrie, what are you doing? Are you holding your action for anything? Are you trying to run and dive I'll off? Tr this? I'll, I'll try to grab the head if it's in reach. I'll try to grab the head. It's not because you're on the other side. Only okay. when you. The other one's more of brain matter. The second one, because the horn went into the head and like the head kind of exploded. The, yeah, not the first you, one. That yeah, yeah. The first one is on the other side, and you have to run across to try to grab it. If you want to try to grab it, it means you diving over the side again. Nope, not doing that again. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so, um, gonna hold I an will action. hold. What should I hold? Uh... I guess I'll hold a Alright. I will use my bonus action to hide. A hide? And okay. I will hold my action. I mean it's not hard, you're three feet tall and standing. The wall is about three feet tall. You can easily just <laughs> crash down. So you can roll me a stealth check if you like. Yep. Um, you go to hold, and you're holding your action for what? If anything comes close. Uh, that was that was a natural one, but a twenty-one with the pass without a trace. Um, yeah. for the like stealth. I said, like I said last week, natural ones and natural twenties are for combat. It doesn't mean you automatically fail. That's I how know. I view Still. them. So. Uh, I will hold my action to dash. Got it. Uh, if the place is alerted, I will run as fast as I can down to help. As some of the blows get out, because you don't hear the cratching, you just kind of hear the, the horn blast a little bit. Uh, uh, carry the the jailer right next to you. Oh, what the what the blood? What the fuck? Oh, actually, I need to roll this one. What the fuck is going on up there? I don't even see them. And he starts doing a dive left turn. Or, or sorry, right turn to start heading towards the tower. I was holding my action for when something happened to steal the keys off of him. Well, give me a slight of hand check. While he is distracted, can I try that? Well, I would give you advantage, but since it's in the coats, I'm going to have you have a straight roll. All right. Any pluses for being a Kenda? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. Um, 
I would like to, for the first time ever, use one of my rewards. I'm going to add a d6 to this. Okay. As soon as I find sleight of hand. It's 16 before the d6. And a five on that. So, uh, 21? Nice, 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 nice. 21? 21 total? Yeah. DC was 17. Wow. As you turn, the the flap, or, or not you, but as uh, he turned, the flap kind of opened up just enough for you able to lift the keys. And he starts beat feeding to the tower. Yes. How much? 30. Where's my ID? Uh. He dashes to the tower, and that is his turn. Dash I here. did not see where Dashin went at all, right? Uh, he walked away toward the tents while I was doing uh, time. My and he, had, he, he had a pretty high stealth check, so he wouldn't have seen it. And you were more focused on the guard, so. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> I don't know if you even noticed the trap is there either. No, I, I, I don't know any of that. <laughs> so, Dash, where are you going? Oh, is it on to me now? Yep. <clears throat> I'm feeling Vera you're on, uh Vera you're on deck. I guess uh I would like to perceive if the short horn blow has startled any of the sleeping hobgoblins or oh, that's a good point. warriors in my in the tent with me. Do you want me to roll a perception for that? Uh yeah, you can roll a perception and I rolled for a seat that waits them up. I got a 16. Let me roll another. So I'll just roll this because that's definitely kind of over. Uh, again. <sighs> Fucking horn dreams. Fuck those horns. <sighs> well, actually, he says that in Draconic. So do you understand Draconic? No. no. <laughs> no, no, they say asleep. It, that okay. didn't give you enough information. It did indeed. Um, with that, then I am going to uh, step out of the tent and not step on the trap. All right. Uh... Give me dexterity. Uh, actually, you wouldn't be able to hide it, so you can easily see it and step over it. So it doesn't require a check for that. And you remember where you placed it. I was saying if you cover it up, I'm going to give you an advantage on it, but you don't need to. Um, with that, I will go ahead and move my position. Uh, I'm, I'm going to kind of shuffle hurry over near Vera and uh, inform her. Of, of, of what I found in there, there's, there's three of them in the in the big tent. We've got these couple potions here and uh, a lot of dragon army documents. Here he was flying. How was that supposed to be the the the, the signal? Oh, I got the keys. Ah, oh. oh, the keys! Great, great, great. Uh, are, are you going to uh, maintain concentration on that? Uh, on the since you felt it fall, I'm talking about you, uh, dash. Yeah, I, I mean, I'll be dropping drop, mine if drop Ziggy it. dropped his invisibility. All right, uh, well, you want to uh, give you all that little quick interaction? What are you trying to do for? I'll say, your uh, I'm gonna just I'll, I'm gonna say your perception check to notice is a quick bonus action. So, what you want to do for your action?
I would say your perception check. But so far, check. we're not alerted. Nobody's alerted. That's a crossing threat. That was threat. it. Well, you, uh, you only the checked the people was. in the tent. The jailer. But yeah, did, did oh. Vera tell you? That but I haven't she, said that yet, no. No. So yeah, that, so with that quick interaction, are you holding anything? You have not been told the jailer was alerted. No. Oh. Uh, well, I, all I was doing was sharing that I've, what I've recovered from the tent and how many people were in the tent with Vera. All right, I'm just saying, do you want to hold your action for anything to use your action if something happens? Oh. If not, we can move on. Yeah, yeah, just, uh, I don't have anything set up, no. All right. Seat of the pants. All right. Vera. Ah, uh, now I will tell him that the jailer ran that way. I think he heard whatever the hell they're doing up there. Do we stop him or do we go to get Mela? Um, I suppose we we need to get Mela, but but if he's the only one who knows, then can you send a message to them that they're about to have company? I think those three can handle one person. Am I am I still able to use message? You didn't hold your action, so um, unless message is a reaction spell, no. That's why I, that, I was trying to prompt you. So we'll, I'll let it slide this time. So when I ask you if you want to hold an action for anything, you tell me what you want to do, and I'll allow you to use it as a reaction. So uh, he, uh, No, I, I understood initially, okay. and I still didn't choose it, so we'll bypass it. Okay. Uh, what do you want to do, Vera? Give that uh, I will assume he's going to do that next, so I will just, with my very, very tiny self, try to block any... Uh, hand motions he's gonna have to do for this spell. Okay. These guys are over there. Uh, you're trying to conceal him from being able to cast a spell? Got it. Yes. Alright, uh, is that your turn? Yes. Alright. Uh, Mela, uh, with your passive perception. You hear the three guards in there. Uh, one of them, actually two of them, uh, interconic. Uh, something going on in the tower. You just saw the jailer go by. I'm gonna go check. You two stay here and guard the prisoners. Uh, I think they're I think they're 30 also. And that one starts heading out. That was their turn. Juju. These ones by uh, the gate. As the head flops down the ground. The bigger one looks down as another one of the smaller ones look back. Start looking up. I'm going to wait till the big guy's turn because he's going to do something. Wait, did he? Okay. He has his own initiative bonus. Okay, cool. All righty. Uh, Belrum, you're up. Mela, you're on deck. So I would have seen the heads go over the end, right? Mm-hmm. You did it. The yep. other one on the other side is more bl brain splatter. I'll just move it. And it they would have, would have let's now. see. We're about 40 feet up. I know it's 
going towards the gate, would Bell Room be him? Well, you did turn you. Jump you did technically him? turn away from it and went and attacked the phone. Actually, oh, okay. Start, so. That's fine. Right. So I did not see where it went. So Bell Room will not just jump after it you uh, to, to kill. And, you, you would have to come over and kill this one to do it. So we would have went this way. You would have went over here to splatter this one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, I'm I've just gonna, that. I'm just gonna talk. Well, that was, that was really easy. How were there four of them here? Because I had to kill two of them. <laughs> I thought there were only three. <laughs> All right, is that your turn? Yeah, does right. we killed them all? All right, Mela. Uh, all right. Um, so I know that two of the jailers are gone. No, one. Oh, yeah, the jailer and one of the other guards. Group. Yeah, one of the guards left. Okay. You saw. Well, you saw the you saw the jailer walk that way, and then you heard. Actually, you did hear, yeah, you did hear them in Draconic mm -hmm. say that. Anything you want to do right. within the confines of your cage? Would I have heard any of the commotion below so I can use my reaction to dash? Because I was holding my action for if anything went wrong below? You, you were holding your action to dash, but you say what would trigger your dash. Oh, okay, yep. <laughs> <laughs> It's not rude. Mm -hmm. I asked you. He's just. I'm gonna match in the dash, so you can dash what you want, but you didn't say what would trigger your dash. So if you want to dash, you can dash, but technically didn't trigger your dash. If I can, I would like to. I'd like to go down the ladder and be waiting for them in the darkness. Roll a perception check to see if you noticed them, because you were hiding, and it's a solid wall. So give me, give me that with disadvantage. Just right click and roll disadvantage. Yeah, I uh, heard the. Yeah, anyway. Um, high was 23, low was 19. You don't speak draconic. Nope. You heard some talking, but that's about it. It didn't sound like alarmed voices. I would say the talking you heard. Actually. I mean. You don't understand Draconic, and it's not like, hey, I'm rushing over here. No, it was nothing like that. It's just like, I'm going to go check it out type deal. But Okay, then you, I'll, you, I'll probably not. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. No worries. Uh, I'm sorry. Mela, what were you doing? Um, I am going to go ahead and cast Spiritual Weapon um, and try to attack one of the remaining guards. From the cage. That was behind the curtain. So I'm going. I don't have the mace out ready, so I had this sword. So where you want to have the sword at? The cleric uh, chooses violence. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, just a, uh. Sure. Yeah, that one's fine. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's fine. And I'm going to try and attack. Does the 19 hit? Oh my god. We're doing the things. We're doing the things. 19 does hit. Okay. And that is seven damage. I'm actually going to do this for my own track. I'm doing. So you're attacking number one. Mm hmm. All right. Uh, you said seven damage? Yes. Uh, what's your special weapon look like? I know this looks like a sword. You can use that if you like, or I know you usually use a mace, but my mace is mm -hmm. packed up in uh, my carry on bag. So, not carry on no bag, but. 
Yeah, mine, um, even though it looks like a sword, it's still the mace um, and glows softly as it just knocks that guard up the top of his head. Probably not doing that much damage, but enough to get at least get his attention. Okay. As it clumps down on the back. What the fuck? What the fuck did this thing comes on and just starts drawing? Um, That's your bonus action. Should, if I, can I hold my action um, for um, if the guards start opening the cages? Just tell me um, what your action is. Yeah, my action will be to summon spiritual guardians. If they start opening cages? Yeah. yeah. Got it. And that'll be my turn. Thank you. So, before we do that, I want you to understand. If you don't cast it, you'll lose that spell slot. I want you to keep that in mind. Okay. Because then... you're, you're holding the spell to cast it. So, you've already technically okay. cast it and you're holding it. If you don't use it, you'll spin that spell slot. Just keep that okay, in mind. Okay, then I won't do that then. Um, just straight cast it? No. Okay. Um, I just won't do anything else then. I won't hold an action. Um, okay. I mean, uh, uh, you, you can definitely do that. I just want you to understand that it will spill the, spin the spell slot if you do not cast it. Mm, actually, you know what? I'll go ahead and cast Spiritual Guardians now then. Okay. Good choice. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, would that harm the creature? Not if I count it hmm. as an ally. Yeah, so your choice. So who are you counting as an ally? Yeah. Um, the elves, the kunder, the creature in the... In the cage? In the cage, but... The other right. guards, not. So um, and you're... I guess I'll move forward. All right, so you want to move to the very far cage to try to get both of them? Because right now you're going to get the one mm -hmm. that you hit with the spiritual weapon. If you move all the way to the edge of the cage, you might get the other one. So what's your yeah, spiritual okay. guardians? Um, Where's your spiritual guardians? Look like? So they look elvish um, with wings. Um, they glow like a... Um, like a twilight glow and like a golden. Um, and sometimes they have weapons, sometimes they don't. I don't control whether or not they have weapons. Sometimes they make kills without weapons, which is fun. Um, so it's yeah, a con just, save, right? I believe it's my only it Con or wisdom? I always forget. It is wisdom. Well, one got a natural one. And this one, has, and they have a negative in that, so 12. So, natural one and a 12. So, natural one for a zero, and a 12 for the other one. So, they both take 14 radiant damage. 14. Ooh. Ooh, the first one that you hit with the spiritual weapon. As, what did, they, what did you say they look like? These... Fairies? You see, no. They're elvish with wings. Okay. Little elven fairy wings. <laughs> Blood is trickling out of their puncher wounds where these elves are puncturing in. And he, they're both bloody as fuck after that. Cool. All right. That is my turn. All right. Well, these guys are dead because y'all really murdered the helpless things ziggy as you're stunned that these heads flying off you are surprised you're like all this brain matter splatters out you're just like frozen stuff like what the fuck i've yet to have my attack but all right do you oh you do the big one the big one with the big wings yeah. Points at both the other ones. He turns around. He has a flying speed of 60 feet. Flies to the top of the tower.
And the first person he sees. See how he has a uh, hello there. Hello there. How are you? Oh, that was Jazza saying that to the guy. All right. Uh, he has this uh, serrated sword. Uh, meets two. Oh, yeah. Uh, he has three attacks. Uh, makes two attacks with his sword and one with his tail. So I'm going to DV up. So Belrom, Ziggy, you get attacked with the sword and the tail wipes around trying to hit uh, Kiri. So Wasn't Kiri hiding? Yeah, it's hiding. Plain sight. But it's plain yeah, sight. Well, and pass without a trace, but yes. Yeah. It's still plain sight. Uh, Belrom does a uh, 24 hit you? It sure does. Uh, that's not great. Uh, a 12 misses you, Ziggy, I'm assuming. Because you do, do have your shield out with the rapier. And then uh, roll terribly on the... Basically, roll only roll really good on the first attack. But this is... Double damage because of the hurt them hard. I'm just going to roll it on here. Uh, Barrel, you take 22 points of slashing damage as it Roger comes up. That. Comes down, slashes in your back, deep in your back. Comes up just clinging off um, Ziggy's shield and he whips his tail around. But since Carrie's so short, it just goes right over the head. Because he sees the headless bodies of his people up there. After he saw one land right beside his feet. For now, top of the round. Carrie, what are you doing? Uh, just had a whoosh go over my head. And um, I guess I'll sneak attack this guy because I got allies within five feet. Oh, yeah. Uh, 15. Uh, 15 misses. Thought so. And if it misses, I can't use the bonus action for the second hit, can I? No, because you the have to hit the first one, right? Dueling. Yeah, I think that's... Yeah. yeah, that's how it works. Yeah. Wasted! Um, uh, yeah, no, there's nothing else I can really do. Uh, gah! Bonus action, disengage, and run the for your fucking life. <laughs> I'm not gonna leave my guys. Okay. No, oh, trust me. I'm, I'm about to yell to run. <laughs> I'll hold my action to run. Then, well, my action was to attack, and I missed. So, yep. Yep, yep. I don't know. Your bonus action is disen. You have bonus action, disengage, dash, and all that stuff. You still have your bonus. Yeah, but action. as it is, I'm ready to square up. I would use my okay. reaction to run when. Just, I just want to let you know. So my hurt them hard is now gone. Thank you, Eldrav. That was fun. Uh, I did get a D6 from Kayla, right? Let me add that in my rewards. Y'all so quick to put y'all's in, but not mine. I see how it is. It's cool. All I right. always forget to use them. I could have used a D6 just then. I'm sorry, I didn't notice she did. I added everyone else's level. I even said it on stream. I think I'm sorry. Ready. I'm I'm going through spells. I'm very distracted right now, trying to decide what I'm gonna do. These guys run inside. They basically bust, pretty much bust down the door. Um, you get to the bottom of the ladder because they had to use oh had to use their action to open the door basically, and they got to the bottom of the ladder. And as they come in, you guys actually hear, "Why squat squat ya?" Ziggy, you speak Draconic, right? Ah, uh, what's going on up there? That's what you hear, Ziggy. Dash in and then bury your own deck. 
Everything's Sorry. fine. How are you? Dash and you're up. And you guys would, <laughs> at this point, it's not, not hard to miss. These little elf-like creatures falling around. And you've seen it before. Melee casting spiritual guardians, so. What do y'all want to do? Well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take off my disguise. If uh, we're in full-fledged battle mode. Also, because it's kind of warm. And uh, going to... Um, <clears throat> I guess glance at Vera and then walk over towards, uh, I guess, rather trot a little bit closer to numbers one and two mm -hmm. of the guards surrounding Mila's encampment or yeah, 30 whatever. Feet, right? Yeah, but I, I'm not necessarily going like neck to neck to him, just closing the distance so every, everything's easily in range or at least... How far away you want to be then? Give me half the distance. Half the distance I am now. So you want to see the... You perfect. Just want to be able, you just want to yes. be able to see that. Yes, absolutely perfect. All right, cool. And what are you doing for your action, bonus action? <sighs> for my action... Don't have any water around here. Pretty much now. Y'all bet for the water to be gone when I take it around and you ask for the water. <laughs> Although Carrie does have an item that gives you endless water, but she is nowhere near you, though. <laughs> I am going to... Um, I'm going to cast Tasha's Hideous Laughter on guard number two. Oh, God. And as a wisdom save? Correct. That was not his stat one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're so good at these. A four! I don't remember Does how much damage is applied, if any. Does it add oh, damage? No, it's just or... the prone. It's just the prone. Yeah, so it basically made some uh, uh, incapacitated. You said number two, right? I did, I did, I did. And then I'm going to, you know, pull the trusty loot off the sling, strum it once or twice, do my bardic inspiration. Oh, yeah! yeah. I'm going to hit Vera with some bardic inspiration. All right. Hey, yeah! All right. Uh, is that your turn? Yep. Vera, you're up. Oh, the that chairs changes. has a bow tie. That changes so many things. I did not want you where you're at. Ah. I might do it anyway. I am going to walk forward toward the entryway. And then not all the way up to them. Right. Uh, right there? Yep. I will bonus action Misty Step. I want to Misty Step in Behind front them. of the cage. In front of the cage with the bullet pup. And then I would like to use the keys to let the creature out. You got it. The only that. thing is that Dashton, you're right in the middle of it, and he's not going to know if you're friend or foe, so... God edge! Oh, wow. Everyone else, though, is either in a cage or in the tower, as far as I know, so... Uh, yes. I got to add him to an initiative. If I didn't add him to an initiative, I, I, I wanted you to be able to use your little mini. Come on. Yeah, sure. That's that's it. That's what it <laughs> is. There you go. Boom. Save. Why do I keep trying to think? All right. I want to resume. 
He's in there, but I gotta roll. I gotta roll his initiative. Uh, uh you have no damage first, so your initiative is up. Got it. All right. As you find the key, Jugan chairs has both sides. It's just a pillow. Uh, as you unlock the keys. <laughs> I'm going to hope it's predisposed to hating those that caught it, but I don't actually know that. Uh, so and I'm you moved. The uniform. Shit. You moved five. Ten. I forgot. You moved about fifteen that. feet. We're... You still you still have fifteen feet of movement if you want to move out of the way of this cage. How does the cage open inward or outward? Because it's an opening outward, I'm going to just hide behind. I'm just going to open it all the way up and hide right behind it. So these cages don't have a door that opens up. Just use your imagination. The door opens up and you're hiding behind the cage. Alrighty. Uh, is there a turn? So they have to make wisdom saving throws. The other one automatically fails because he's incapacitated. Uh, roll your damage there, Mela. That was caught. Nine. So eight total. So they both fail. Yeah, uh, how's your spirit guardians kill these guys? Uh, maybe they just behead them with whatever weapons they might have. Um, pretty quick and hopefully quiet. <laughs> At least a little bit. They make themselves like little spearheads as their spiritual guardians. And, uh... Die. I'm gonna... All right. Nope. All right, they are dead. The other one. Uh, it's going to start climbing the ladder. Uh, they get about. Uh, actually, they can get all the way up because they'll dash up. Climbs up with his captain coming up behind him. He knows he's gonna step over you because you're only three feet high. <laughs> step over you and turn around and get ready for an attack. Um, that's that one. These two had their orders. Bellroom, you're up, and Mele, you're on deck. All right. Well, uh, big guy here. Obviously, he hit me. I'm just going to say run <clears throat> and attack him. So we're doing reckless. We're doing the full Monty here. You know all the good stuff. So let's see. That's the first thing. We're going to rage. What's going to trigger... He said the word! He said the word! What was that? I said he said the word. Oh, you're asking yeah. what did you roll? Uh, you said... You said rage. I, that, was, that was a yeah, joke. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to rage. Ah, okay. <laughs> he, he said it. He said it. All right, so yeah, I'm wild surge. Oh, I guess I'm just gonna roll it that way. Could have sworn that there was a way that I could just roll it in the game and it would automatically do it. I know I saw that somewhere. What are you talking about? Trying to roll with advantage? Anyways, no. Um, oh. Doing my. I think it's within the feature, but 
Uh, shadowy tendrils lash around you, each creature of your choice that you can see within 30 feet must succeed on a con save or take 1d12 damage. This is one I also gain so. 1d12. Yeah. Uh, so yep. what, what's con save? Con uh, save. And who are you choosing? This is where the uh, Boulder's Gate big, messes me up because they pull it automatically from other everybody. But you get to choose. Big boy there. Big boy big that's boy. right in front of me. Yeah, big boy in the one that came up. Yep. So, oh, big boy got. Actually, we'll go with that one since I have a stat blocked up. Con save. Uh, sits for that guy. Well, that's a fail. Yeah. Uh, uh, Thirteen Three, for the big six. boy. I mean, I'm not rolling super great for these guys tonight, but yeah. Thirteen for that. Nah, that fails also. So they're both going to take 1d12 necrotic. So I'll roll that. All right. And they're both going to take, nice, 10 necrotic. And 10 necrotic damage, you got it. I am getting 10 temporary hit points. Actually, I need to check something. I assume that's one time, not because I hit two. I think it's only one for me to do it again. You also get 1d12. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Okay. So 10, they both took 10? Correct. Necrotic. All right. Yeah. They both take the full effect of that. I forgot to describe that those still the two that died did with that, that petrification gas stuff that happens, but thankfully Vera was 10 feet away from him, not t five feet. All right. Um, I do assume that... Uh, is this the one earlier you had said I recognized him from the prior encounter? Is this one of them? No, this one looks different. Okay, you, so it's just the, the, the ones, ones by the okay. big tent is the one you recognize that you <clears throat> fought earlier. Nah, darn and those it. are the ones okay. that are, are asleep in the tent. Uh, I guess they'll be awake soon enough. All right, um, so yeah, I'm yelling out to uh, everyone out there just run. And uh, we swing. Bada, bada, bada. Uh, big boy in front of us, because he's the one who hit me. Got it. 21? Uh, 21 hits. Attack number one, 19 points of damage. Got it. Uh, attack number two. Uh, that's a hit with a 30. Nice. Oh, and I forgot because I am raging, raging. and all that fun stuff. I always forget that die. Uh, what do I get? So I got 12 mm -hmm. damage, so it should be four more die, right? Because you get two for your raging? Two plus or four. G. So four more damage, so 16. Okay, so four more damage. I took the initial. Got it. Nice. After you swing both times, blood, this black acre blood running down the side because you cracked it right in the side. And uh, it is now bleeding. Yep. And I'm looking, so that's my actions. I look around and if I can see, who's up here? Ziggy's up here. Is Ziggy invisible or invisible? No, he's not invisible anymore because he uses action to attack. All right. So I can see him and Carrie both. Mm-hmm. Um, you can see all you can see everything on this. Top. Yeah. Uh, well, let's see. Hopefully they're moving towards the exit. If they're not, I'm going to try to grab Carrie and throw her through the stairwell, like blocking so she can get away and they're Currently focused you have on me Ziggy and... in the middle of you. So you have to move towards Carrie if you want to do that. And uh, probably take all your movement to even get over there with this big beast and moving through. Yeah, but I mean, it's such a small area. I'm in combat. They're going to get a, an attack on me. Um, now that I'm pushing Ziggy because he's Are in the way. Are you shoving Ziggy? Give me I'm shoving Ziggy. Athletic shots. Uh, Ziggy, you're allowing it. If you're trying to keep him from shoving you, give me an athletic check. I'm rolling athletics. Push him. Yep. 
So okay. I, I'm only rolling if I'm re resisting. That's a nat yeah. 20 for a 28, by the okay. way. Okay, I'm just I don't I'm think it getting matters. out of his way. Yeah, it doesn't. I'm, I'm getting out of his way. No, I'm uh, pushing okay. you down the hole to get out of here. Oh. You're not getting out of my way. Oh. I'm literally telling you guys to run, meaning get out but of here. Like, we're supposed to... Okay, fine. I mean, we're supposed to fight and kill people. Uh, should I... Re I mean, don't... I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, he, he because I know you, it's gonna fail. He basically, he basically shows like, you. No, no, uh, you're far enough away, but he shows you towards the hole. You're not falling down the hole. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to resist and be like, uh, we have to fight a bell rope. Hey, he, he's shoving you. Uh, I ready. got a 15. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, Mela, you're up. All right, right. Mela, you're up. Um, would it just be possible for me to move my spiritual weapon to... It only moves like 20 close... feet. Yeah. Um, just closer to the entrance. Um, yeah, and it doesn't have to be outside the hole either. Um, I mean, as far as you can see, so that's... You're still in your vision, so... Yeah, that's fine. Um, mm -hmm. You're gonna hold your action to dash if uh, your door is open, I'm assuming? Yeah, that's what I'll do. All right. All right, these guys are dead. Yeah, this becomes a fun shit. All right, we're ready. Humming happily as he gets ready to kill us all. Yeah, when there's a smile on the DM's face, not a not a good thing. Especially when he's like, "Oh, let me keep pulling out all these minis from here." Yeah, and there's still three in the big tent that are probably coming out soon. Full faith in you, Dastion. There's more in the other him. tents that are about to have a head hit at them. Mm -hmm. So, this. <laughs> As soon as you open the door, he leaps 15 feet in the air, punches down. He is now tearing these tents all the shit. And he is doing damage as he does. girl? Actually. So now, if anybody's alerted, they're alerted now. There's that damage. Plus... Yeah, I'm not gonna f try to even bother rolling that. Oh my god, this is bad. Uh, Dashing, you're the closest. He jumps to that first tent, the closest to it, tears it all the hair, and you see in body parts of individuals inside getting tore the fuck up actually uh you're our uh actually i need you to give me a dex, uh strength or dexterity saving throw your choice because it does land right beside you pretty much i will use dexterity all right it is an 11 you got what 11 Yes, 11. You fail. You are not prone. You take nine points of bludgeoning damage, plus nine point, another nine points of slashing. Oh, I'm sorry. Another nine points of slashing damage, and I forgot to add the pluses on top. So another eight on top for four from each on those. And you're not so, prone as this beast lands to you. The ground shakes and you fall. And for flavor, you fall in the rocks where the this uh, fire pit, your, that's your slashing damage. 
So to be to be clear, it was twenty three total damage. Two nines and a two nines and, and a plus five. eight. Plus eight more. Oh, so twenty six. Yeah. Does anyone know if motivational speech also applies to me when I did it? I don't know if I have the temp health or not. Let me see. Where's it at? Motivational speech. Is that a spell? Yeah, here we go. Defeat. Uh, uh, no, nah, I think it's the other five creatures. No, choose, yeah, it's choose up the five creatures. So you could choose yourself, but you didn't. Okay, you chose everybody I chose else. the whole party. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So the whole enchilada... As he lands down, the ground shakes so much around you. The tent over there uh, falls down. You not get knocked prone. And as you look over, he's just tearing the shit out of the people that's in that tent. Alrighty. That was his turn. Ziggy, you're up. As you, like... Come back from the head being popped off in the brain ladder. You see these individuals on top. Uh, are there two creatures attacking us? Or just the one big? There's the one big one and then another one joined. Okay. And then Bellroom has pushed me somewhere? They push you towards the hole. And Where's as you're Terry? looking down the hole, you see somebody coming up, another goblinoid coming up the ladder. Oh. And where's Carrie? Carrie Between is you it? and the smaller one. Okay. Yeah. And uh, are we, like, I'm uh, embroiled in melee range. I wouldn't be able yeah. to. You're, you're in melee range, so if you leave by your choice, uh, right. opportunity attacks. Oh, God. You you remember where I, this was supposed to be a sniping post? Yeah, I, I don't know what happened here. <laughs> <laughs> That was the original plan, anyway. Um, Head flew the wrong way. Yeah, sure. Sure, 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 sure. Uh, also, I think, like, Ass Without Trace is kind of useless right now. Uh, I think they are I think they figured it out. So I'm going to drop that and at least do a Hunter's Mark. All right. On, um, I don't know, like, uh, the, like, am I right next to the big guy at this point? Yeah, it looks he's like. right next to you, yeah. All right, well, despite... Bellroom's heroics trying to save us. I'm going to uh, be stupid. Turn around. Bonus action. Hunter's mark on the bad guy. Yep. And and I guess a uh, couple couple melee, melee attacks. Is that the one where you have to give him disadvantage on something? Or is that something else? What? The Hunter's mark is just a yeah. damage bonus. Okay. Yeah. I, know somebody I think you're thinking first. of Hex. Hex. That's what I'm thinking about. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, I think, yeah, the Hunter's Mark is just all it does. Too is many campaigns all bonus. starting to blow together, you know? <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. Um, and I think that's probably my best uh, choice of doing something right now. All right. So, um, oh, can, could I have you, like, uh, could you use you that? You currently DM have your range? shield and uh, rapier out. Sure. Uh, could you use that DM's inspiration to re-roll an attack roll? Yes. Oh. Yeah, well, I should have done use that on DM's the last inspiration one. re-roll or give yourself advantage. Gotcha. Um, bum, 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 bum. Ba -dum, ba -dum. Uh, well, I'm going to go with a classic um, rapier attack. I believe. I don't have anything else. I'm, I, I don't think I'm going to bring Stardust into this mess right now. Okay. Uh, ooh, uh, 15. 15 misses. Poop. Um, and then we'll do a um, 23. 23 hits. All right. Uh, we're going to do uh, 12 points of piercing damage. Ziggy, he had exactly yes. 12, foot, 12 hit points. How would you like to do this? Oh, my God. Uh, finally i get one um but aren't these the ones that like explode into i was just gonna say now it's gonna yeah. explode though yeah. yeah like that's just my luck is that i finally get to kill Bye. and I, it's <laughs> yeah. the the one that like uh, shoots off spikes or something 
Yeah, thunder damage. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I mean, it was a desperate attack. Uh, so I'm going to say it's just like a, uh, you know, the first attack, the first rapier slice goes wild, and the second one it just is a wild attack across his torso. Uh, you know, like you know, ripping into the belly. We're seeing some 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 entrails kind of fall out as he chokes and, I'll, and sputters. And I'll take and over from this point. Explodes into whatever <laughs> he's going to explode into. I'll take over Golly. this point. As you pierce with this final blow with the rapier, fire embers burn out from inside. Ooh. Ten foot radius, which will capture all you guys. It's actually, uniquely enough, not the other one. Um, let me see. Did it have, actually... Actually, no, it would have been everybody. So I need everybody to give me dexterity saving throws. 25. Six. Nine. Mm. I'm going to roll for the other guy. I stole your guys' dicks. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, this, this guy has so much dexterity. <laughs> Every dex roll. Oh. Well, the anyway. only person to see it was Carrie. And it kind of made sense because you're only three feet high and the flame's kind of <sighs> out and just right above you. And everybody, uh, everybody that failed takes 11 points of fire damage. Oh, that's not so bad. That's not bad. And if you succeeded, you didn't take any damage, so it wasn't one of those. It's just kind of like a miniature fireball that, that happens. Noise? Noise, noise. Is everybody still up? Oh, yeah. Hell I mean, yeah. We also thought it was five temporary hit points, so, like, that wasn't even that big a deal. All right. Thank you, Dustin. Alright, so everybody's still up. So I think so. It would have been it would have been his turn, but he's not. He was on the end of the combat initiative. So we're now at the top of the combat initiative. And we are nine minutes to our closing time for tonight. We'll end here. We'll pick up in the middle I don't like doing this, but in the middle of combat. We'll Should end we do here. one more round? I mean I could stay. It's up it's up to you. More minutes. Yeah, but let's do one more at least. Let's see how far we get. Okay, we'll do one more round because you still we also still have to do the closing stuff. But yeah, all right, uh, Kiri, top of the round. Yeah, I would like to look at the last guy. I don't speak Draconic. I'll say in common because I don't know that he doesn't speak common, and say, um, "Oh, your boss is dead. How about you give up then?" He responds to you in common. He's not my boss. He's hard muscle. Actually, hold on. Is he alive? I forgot to put his damage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm this speaking to his he, ghost. He was this one. How much damage did I say? It was 10? No, 11. 11. Oh, yeah. He looks fucked up. Well, you look he, fucked up. How about you give up then, eh? He's like petting off the flames. <laughs> he's hard muscle anyway. Uh, I was about to say, he's going to attack. He looks like he's preparing an attack on you. Okay. Um, would that be action talking to him, or I can still attack? I'll set up be... Nah, I'll give you that free. If you were talking a little bit more, I'll take a bonus action from you. But go ahead. I can say yep. you're probably, you probably seeing this as you're ready to do something, so... Yeah, since he's not looking reciprocative to my invitation to... Not kill me. Well, that wasn't I his will... boss, so he doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> I will perk him in the stomach with my shorts on. Uh, 22 to him. hit. 22 hits. And uh, 7. And people are within 5 feet, so plus 12, so 19 damage. He had one hit point. How you want to let you do it? <laughs> uh, split open his belly, I guess. Just like his boss. And then to everyone else, dive for it! And I need everybody to make me uh, um, constitution saving throws. In five Excellent. feet, which Damn. is... 
Which is you and Belram. Nine. Eleven. All right. And we have discussed this. We're going to continue on with what I've been doing, even though it's technically wrong. Uh, all right. Oh, what would you get, Carrie? Eleven. Eleven. You just succeed. Ooh. Belram, you got a nine. Correct. For a constitution saving throw? Yes. I rolled this a five. This has happened before. Jeez. Yeah. You're supposed to be good at those. Yeah. <laughs> as, dwarf. as you oh, guys well, see Don't worry. Before. We have Lorwyn here with, a, you know, potion. She can jam oh, down wait. my throat. Oh, uh, no. Wait. Uh, as Thoreau's shoving Ziggy, this, the ghasts and everything that you've seen before, he is starting to cr- turn to stone before your eyes, Carrie and Z. Bellroom, no! Run! You Who are, had that potion? You are, res- you are restrained. And if Roger you do that. not succeed on the next turn, you become petrified. Yep. Yeah, somebody had a potion of bullshit. I don't have it. No, we don't. I used it to save Laura last time. Oh shit, Laurowin. Yeah. You okay, do not yep. have it anymore. Yeah, it wasn't yeah, it wasn't worth it. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, oh shots oh, fired. Oh, is she still a chat? <laughs> oh, like know. sorry, love. Wait, wait, did I think she would have responded to that if she was. Oh, it was six seconds. I think Belrum's gonna respond to that. <laughs> he might survive an extra round and just you rage got, on his you. His mouth is starting to <laughs> Maybe he'll join Takesis on this one. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I have a holy symbol just for that. <laughs> All right, uh, that was your turn. You have any bonus actions, Carrie? Oh, uh, I don't think so. Uh, uh, okay. I... nope. Got it. Oh, there's still one on the ladder, isn't there? You don't know that. Ziggy knows that, but I don't I think don't he said that. anything. Okay. Oh, there's one on the ladder. It's not your turn. Dashin! So I'm laying on the ground near the fire while this beast is tearing into the tent next to me. I'm going to shakily pull out one of those potions that I took from the big tent, a uh, potion of greater healing, and use my bonus action to consume that. Uh, it's your action to consume it. Oh, I thought I, could, I was mistaken. Ball. It's a bonus action to give it to somebody. Oh, well, then I can't use my action for that because I need to action invisible to myself. So. Oh, I don't no, have it. I'm out of spell shot. I'm out of spell. Oh, no, I have a level two second level invisibility. Okay, okay. Second level invisibility on self for my action. And concentrating on that on yourself. Got it. Are you staying on the ground or are you going to use half your movement to stand up? I will use half my movement to stand up. Do you have healing word? That's a bonus action. Negative. I tend to not have too many... I don't really believe in those useful sort of magic. <laughs> Showmanship magic. Tricks only here. Yeah. That's uh, half your movement. You still have 15, 15 feet of movement, I think you have. Yeah, 30 feet. Yeah. So you still have 15 feet where you want to move. You want to stay standing there? Or you want to I would move like to move towards, towards the cells um, unless I'm going to provoke an effort while I'm invisible. So probably oh, you're not invisible. provoking. Okay. He's kind of more over here. I get you. Yeah. All right. Then, yes, I'm moving towards the cells and, and Vera and Mila. All right. 13. We'll get you just inside. Just inside the walls there. And that's and my you, turn. You, you, and you see Vera like. <laughs> Vera, you're up. Speak of the devil. I was contemplating going and helping him and, you know, healing, but he poofed. Where the fuck did he go? He just... Okay, whatever. He, he, he just got his own thing. Yeah, he, he jumped. He got his own thing. So, oh, I, I meant I was thinking of healing uh, uh, oh. Bastion, but yeah, when I looked over, he, he poofed. So I don't know what happened with him. I, I, I guess he can handle himself. So I'm going to head over to Mayla's cage and unlock hers next. All right, you can go and lock her cage. Mainly, you're holding your action for your cage got unlocked. 
Have uh, the other people in the other cages woken up at this noise? The the kinder and the the other sleeping elf. Oh, trancing elf. Let's see. Uh, They're really deep sleepers, and deep meditation is really in the zone. Uh, yeah, the, I gave them advantage because all the noise, so they woke up. Alright, everybody up! Worked. Everybody up! All right, uh, Mela, you were dashing where you were trying to dash to when uh, Vera opened your cage. Can I actually not? Would that be possible to just not? Uh, but yeah, uh, so you decided not to use your bonus action dash you were holding. Got it. Yep. No, no, it was one bonus action. Your action dash. You're not the rogue. Yep. All right. Then uh, for the last of my turn, can I telepathically tell hydrant to head toward the gate hydrant oh yeah, yeah. Uh, my elk who'd be there in about like 20 rounds he's <laughs> got 50 feet of movement okay. well 100 if he dashes but yes yes I, okay. when he gets sick he gets sick well, let's hope we can remember that for next round well i'll have his miniature out to remind me uh, for next session all right, that is your turn. Are we really going to cliffhanger it? <laughs> uh, so these guys are dead, but the ones at the gate now with the beast revealed. Anybody speaks Raconic, you hear them say, Get up, you amazing shit. The beast has just been, uh, been loose. And they start running towards... Uh, towards... Uh, yeah, and they have 30 feet. That is their turn. Belrum, you're up. Yeah, uh, so, uh, Khan? You make, you, yeah, you make your Khan save. Do you have an advantage, Garrus? No, I do not. Can I gift an advantage? You can I give up my advantage? No, you have, it? no, 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 he has the inspiration. He has that, you can use it. But you already rolled, so he's got a 16. That is enough <laughs> as you shrug. Oh, huh? As you were able to, at the end of your turn, as you use your concentration to shrug off this. Uh, as Actually, the, if I'm raging, should you, I have disadvantage? No, I didn't I say you I just realized disadvantage. this because, no, I know, but because I'm raging. You would have advantage, if anything, because it's con. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Did you, you didn't roll it last time with con, did you? Probably not. Well, no. we're not going back and changing it. You saved now, so as you as you shrug off the stone and stuff, you immediately get almost like PTSD from the very initial time you entering these uh, meeting these folks of that stone, and maybe you have a nice little memory of a potion getting summoned to break you out of it. Melee, you're up. Your turn. All right. Um, uh, can I just grab the keys from Vera and open one of the other cages? Would that be an action? Oh uh, yeah, interactual option. Yeah, is uh, action. But uh, if you want to take the keys from Vera, if she's willing to give it to you, allow her to use her reaction. If not, you have to try to snatch them from you. I'll let her have them. All right, so you use your reaction to give her the keys. I'm going to mark that I did that. Um, uh, I guess the one with the other seal, because it was closest. I'm actually going to have to add these uh, CLs to the initiative, so I'll just add them to the bottom and then... Next, next session, I'll add him to the actual initiative. Melee, you can open up the cage. Are you opening okay. up the cage? Yeah, I'm opening it up. All right. Uh, oh, yeah, the spiritual guardians have moved. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, are you saying anything? Are you just doing it? 
Um, I'll just tell them, uh, get ready to run and open the cage. And that'll Got be my it. turn. All right. Oh, dead, dead, dead. Uh, the brute <laughs> jumps to a, another tent. I'm not going to bother rolling because he rolls a ridiculous amount of damage. Again, lands on this tent, collapses it, body parts and shut, start flying everywhere as he's tearing everything up in there. That tent is now destroyed. And anything in it is destroyed. Ziggy, you're up. Uh, <clears throat> all right. Well, I'm going to move across the tower, take up a sniping position on the guards. The gate guards. Okay. And Hunter's Mark one you do of them. Have, you, you do know one is coming up the ladder. Um, yeah, I uh made a, I a quick this? I made a quick choice in that my uh I can deal with that. Oh no, yeah, we gotta the, undo the, that. We gotta undo that. Let's oh okay. Change. I totally forgot the captain. I skipped over the damn captain. Oops. Which one was where up. was the captain? On the ladder. He was coming up the um, ladder and I totally skipped over his turn. Uh, he would have come up the ladder and attacked you. Uh, let me pull this up. Uh, he had, pulls out this great sword to come in and attack with two twice. Let's just see if he hits you. Uh, one's a natural seven, which will miss. What's your ammo class right now? 20? 20. 20. 20. All right. A natural 17, so plus that so 21 total that would hit you so 2d6 is so you take eight piercing damage as this great sword comes down into your back now go i'll you what you want to do well i that that does change things yeah that's what i'm saying uh, i was yeah, like I'm where did he go I, I skipped over a moment yeah. of initiative i have so many He's creatures a, to try to manage in <laughs> melee yeah no that's fine uh yeah i'll i'll put uh bonus action hunter's mark on the guy in front of me and we'll do a bunch of stabbies stabby stabby uh first stabby attack does 20 hit uh 20 does hit we no, did half plate it doesn't matter uh we did a 15 points of damage with that first hit. 15 points of damage. Very nice. Uh, second attack. Ooh. We did a 13. Oh, uh. I forgot to note, as I'm trying to catch up, you can take a little bit more damage because you can do this once per turn. Uh, you take 10 more points of, uh, uh, I do. Yeah. All right. No, hold on. Uh, 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 no, never mind. You, 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 yeah, you don't get it. Cause, uh, other guy died. Never mind. Okay. Never mind. You don't take that. Continue. So how much damage did you do? I took the first one. Uh, the attack. first one I did 15. I, I took that damage. I took that damage. Your second yeah, attack, did it the, hit? The second attack, I think I rolled a 13 or something. Which 13 misses as that cleans right off his half plate that he has covered. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, yeah, that's it for me. All right. We're now at the top of the round. Garris, you still good? Now's, a, now's a good play. No, let's stop. Okay. All right. Uh... We'll pick this back up exactly where everybody is at. It actually gives me a chance to reassess the battlefield and see how many is still alive and how many is getting woken up and what to deal with and pick up with this next time. Uh, we'll be back to regular schedule next week, right? Ziggy, are you good for next week? Regular time on yeah. Friday? All right. Yeah. So we'll be back to Friday next week. Let me put the... Uh, take the... Uh, combat music off because it's hella distracting. Um, 
again thank you guys for tuning in thank you for the raids thank you let me go back to the actual stream uh thank you stormy for your 17 viewers thank you guys for showing up uh thank you tcat for to get to sub to rusty tonnets uh silent bullets gifted out five community subs i don't remember who all got them at this point uh we also got rated from summit forgery for six viewers thank you for all the love and support again if you want to catch us uh next time we'll be live will be next monday night for order the goblet um i am going on vacation or i'm going out of the country or not country uh, out of the state next or this weekend so i won't be back till monday morning early so uh we'll have stream for monday that'll be next time we'll be live for that and then we'll be back next week to come pick up from this uh crazy so if it's actually going pretty well for you guys i will say so considering where we left off last time it could have gone a lot worse <laughs> yeah you got yeah yeah super lucky with those rolls and yeah uh we didn't get to the surprise at the end of this thing so we'll see it next time so uh one last time uh cleanse your rain when you'll be live again or are you still waiting yeah i'm still waiting we're remodeling the house and uh, we've been really dragging our feet with some of it um procrastinating laziness whatever you wish to call it but uh enjoying the heck out of this um hope you guys catch more of jugans aka goblets and warlocks uh D, D sessions they're always entertaining and a, and a treat to be a part of so thanks for having me on this one thank you uh old man garris yeah it should be on hopefully this weekend uh, i'm not 100 sure trying to get some things ironed out uh but uh, when we are on we'll be continuing on with DD world creation and map creation using dungeon alchemist and uh vera i will also be on this weekend uh playing uh honkai star rail the newest chapter i would not be on how live. is it i haven't seen that one it's it's good it's fun yeah uh if you like genshin impact it's very similar i mean it's made by the same people but no i just haven't seen the newest chapter i know the game oh okay yeah it, oh. <laughs> it, it's good it's good that right. i've seen so far Cool. Hopefully, I can uh, see you when you're on. All right. Uh, and to close this out real quick, uh, thank you for hanging out and all the love and support that we've had this stream. This has been a great stream. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. That's where we're going to have our YouTube exclusive with Nerd Holla for the Black Order with our lovely uh, Carrie and Mela. They're going to be in that also as playing evil people. <laughs> so it's gonna be fun uh we'll start that not this weekend but next weekend hopefully and that is going to be youtube exclusive and uh i'll put the goals for youtube and what you can do it's gonna be like stretch goals for subscribers so make sure you tune in uh please like and subscribe to get that content it will not be on twitch that being said we love you very much i have to get a catch of early flight so i'm gonna sign off here and uh make sure you go catch bell room over on uh his next stream so or on his next game. So thank you guys for having us and hanging out with us and showing us some love. Have a good night, guys. See you next Monday.
Oh, I can feel it burn.